Do you know how to solve for the geometric means? That's what we're learning for today's lesson. The formula to solve for a geometric mean between two terms is plus or minus the square root of AB, which is also called the mean proportionality of A and B. So the formula for the geometric mean M is equal to plus or minus the square root of AB, and M is the geometric mean, A is the first term, and B is the last term. In our previous lesson, we also learned that the nth term of a geometric sequence is given by the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r to the power of n minus 1. Here are the five examples. Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solution. Example number 1. Find the missing term in the geometric sequence. So for question number one, we are only inserting one geometric mean. In solving for the geometric mean, we are using the formula m is equal to plus or minus the square root of the first term a multiplied by the last term b. So in this case, we have plus or minus the square root of 4 times 100 and that is plus or minus the square root of 400. And what is the square root of 400? 20, right? So that means that the geometric mean of the numbers 4 and 100 can be positive 20 or negative 20. It can be 4, negative 20, and then 100. So if it is positive 20, that means that the common ratio is 5. You multiply the previous term by 5 to get the next term. And if we're using negative 20 as the middle term, that is a common ratio of negative 5. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. Negative 20 times negative 5 is 100. So the geometric mean of 4 and 100 can be positive 20 or negative 20. Question number 2. Find the missing two terms in this geometric sequence. First thing that we need to do for number 2 is solve for the common ratio r by using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r to the power of n minus 1. Since we have a total of 4 terms, that means we will have a sub 4. So we have a sub 4 is equal to a sub 1 times r to the 4 minus 1, which is r to the 3rd. Our a sub 4 is the last term, which is negative 8. Our a sub 1 is negative 1. Then we have times r to the 3rd. Now we need to divide both sides by negative 1. So we have positive 8 is equal to r to the 3rd power. Solving for r, we need to get the cube root of 8. And the cube root of 8 is 2. Our first term is negative 1, so the second term can be obtained by multiplying negative 1 by 2, which is negative 2. For the third term, we multiply the second term negative 2 by the common ratio 2, so that is negative 4. So the third term is negative 4. And if you multiply this by 2 again, negative 4 times 2, that gives you negative 8. So, so the two geometric means between negative 1 and negative 8 are negative 2 and negative 4. Question number 3. Find the missing three terms in this geometric sequence. First thing that we need to do is solve again for the common ratio. So we will be using a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r to the power of n minus 1. We have 5 terms total, so that means we have a sub 5 is equal to a sub 1 times r to the power of 5 minus 1, and that becomes 4. Our a sub 5 is 512, and our a sub 1 is 2 times r to the 4th. Now we need to divide both sides by 2. 512 divided by 2 is 256 is equal to r to the 4th power. 
Solving for r, we need to get the fourth root of both sides. So this is now r, and the left side becomes the fourth root of 256. And the fourth root of 256 is 4, but this can be positive and negative. If the index is even or the exponent of r is even, r can be both positive or negative. Let us use first the common ratio positive 4. If r is 4, then the second term is 2 times 4, that is 8. The next term is 8 times 4, that's 32. And then 32 times 4, that is 128. And 128 times 4 is 512. What about if r is equal to negative 4? If r is equal to negative 4, the first term is 2. The second term is 2 times negative 4, that's negative 8, times negative 4, that's positive 32, times negative 4, negative 128, and we will have 512. So we have two sets of possible answers here. It can be 8, 32, and 128, that is if r is positive 4, and negative 8, 32, and negative 128 if r is negative 4. Question number four. Find the three missing terms in the geometric sequence. So first, we need to solve for the r by using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r to the power of n minus 1. For question number four, we also have five terms. So that is a sub 5 is equal to a sub 1 times r to the power of 5 minus 1, or that is 4. A sub 5 is negative 1024. Our A sub 1 is negative 4. So we have times R to the 4th power. Now we need to divide both sides by negative 4. Negative 1024 divided by negative 4 is 256. It's equal to negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1. And we have R to the 4th power. Now we need to get the fourth root to both sides, and the fourth root of 256 can be positive 4 or negative 4. So for question number 4, we also have two sets of possible answer. The first is if r is equal to 4, then negative 4 times 4 is negative 16, negative 16 times 4, negative 64, times 4 again, negative 256, times 4, negative 1024. That is if r is positive 4. Now if r is equal to negative 4. The first term is negative 4. The second term is negative 4 times the negative 4, which is 16. Multiplied by negative 4, that's negative 64. Multiplied by negative 4, that's positive 256. Multiplied by negative 4, you get negative 1024. So these are the two sets of possible answer for question number 4. If r is equal to 4, we have negative 16, negative 64, and negative 256. If r is equal to negative 4, the three geometric means are positive 16, negative 64, and positive 256. Question number five. Find the four missing terms in this geometric sequence. So first we will solve for the r value by using a sub n is equal to a sub one times r to the power of n minus one. We have six terms in total. So we have a sub six is equal to a sub one times r to the power of six minus one, and that is now five. Our a sub 6, where the last term is 1 third. Our a sub 1 is 81 times r to the 5th power. Now we need to divide both sides by 81. 1 third divided by 81 is 1 over 243. 81 divided by 81 is 1, so we have r to the 5th. Now we need to get the 5th through to both sides. And the fifth root of 1 is 1. The fifth root of 243 is 3. 
So that means the common ratio here is one-third. Since the first term is 81, the second term can be obtained by multiplying 81 times one-third. So to solve for the second term, we need to multiply 81 by one-third. And 81 times one-third is 27. For the third term, we need to multiply 27 times one-third, and that is 9. For the fourth term, we need to multiply 9 times one-third, and that is 3. And for the fifth term, we have 3 times one-third, that is equal to 1. And if you multiply 1 by one-third, that will give you one-third as well. So the four geometric means of 81 and one-third are 27, 9, 3, and 1. Thank you for watching, and please consider subscribing to my channel at Celso Academy.